question they have said P is the extremity of the lattice rectum of the ellipse 3x square plus 4y square equals to 48. That is, I am writing the ellipse in the standard form. So, it will be x square by is it clear? Therefore, here a square is 16 and b square is 12. Therefore, the eccentricity of the ellipse is 1 minus b square by a square that gives you under root 1 minus 12 by 16. So, it is coming to half. Therefore, the eccentricity of the ellipse is half. The coordinate of the extremities of the lattice rectum in the first quadrant will be a comma b square by a which is equals to here a is 4 eccentricity is half b square is 12 and a square is 16 so a is 4 so that implies 2 comma 3 is it clear now we know that any point on the ellipse can be written as a cos theta comma b sin theta right where theta is the eccentric angle here a cos theta is 2 and b sin theta is 3 okay that is a is 4 in this case so cos theta is coming to half and in this case b is nothing but 2 root 3 so, sin theta is coming to which is nothing but root 3 by 2. Is it clear? From here we can write that theta is pi by 3 that is 60 degree which is also satisfying this equation right because sin pi by 3 is root 3 by 2. Is it clear? Therefore, the eccentric angle is pi by 3. Hence, the option C is correct. Okay. It is a simple sum because this kind of problems we have done lot in our boat class. Is it clear? Okay. Let us move for the next problem. The direction ratio of the normal to the plane passing through the point. These are the two points through which the plane is passing and the plane, the required plane is parallel to the line, this one. Is it clear? Now we have to find out the direction ratio of the normal to the plane. Okay. So this is the plane. It is passing through these two given points and it is parallel to this line. This is the line the plane is parallel to. Is it clear? Now let us assume that the normal to the plane has the dear say ABC. Therefore, the dear of the line joining these two points is Is it clear? This is the dear of this line. Let us say this is P and Q. Okay, the dear of the line PQ is minus 2, minus 4 and 4. Now, since the normal to the plane is perpendicular to PQ, hence we will say minus 2A minus 4B plus 4C equals to 0. Okay, the sum of the product of their respective dears will be equals to 0. Now, again the normal to the plane is perpendicular to the given line also. The given line has the directional ratios as 2, 3 and 4. Again, we will write 2a plus 3b plus 4c will be equals to 0. Is it clear? Because the normal to the plane is perpendicular to the given line also. Hence, the sum of the product of their respective dears will be equals to 0. 
Okay, now let me solve these two equations by cross multiplication method. I am doing it little fast, please check it. The direction ratio of the normal to the plane is 14 minus 8 minus 1. Is it clear? Therefore, our option B is correct. It's a moderate sum. This kind of sums again we have done in both class, but you can consider this sum as a moderate sum. Okay. Let us move for the third problem. The equation of the plane which bisects the line joining the points 1, 2, 3 and 3, 4, 5 at right angles. Let us say this is the plane. So there are two points. Here the point is 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3 and this point let us say 3, 4, 5. So this plane is bisecting this line joining these two points at right angles. So this point, is it clear? So this point is nothing but 2, 3 and 4. Okay. Now it is intersecting the plane at right angles. Okay. So the dear of the line joining these two points is, is it clear? Therefore the equation of the plane is, the plane is passing through the point 2, 3, 4. And the dear of the normal to the plane is 2, 2, 2. Therefore, the equation of the plane is. So, it comes to. So, x plus y plus z equals to 9. Is it clear? Therefore, the option C is correct. Is it clear? It's again a simple sum. It's not a tough one. Okay. Let us move for the next problem. The limit of the interior angle of a regular polygon of n sides as n is tending towards infinity. Now, it is a very, very basic problem. See, the total, the sum of all the angles of an n-sided regular polygon is n minus 2 into pi right? This is the sum of all the angles of a n-sided regular polygon. So, each angle of the regular n-sided polygon will be, is it clear? So, that gives you what? 1 minus 2 by n into pi. Now, as n is approaching towards infinity, so in that case, the limit of the interior angle of the regular polygon of n sides will become 1 minus 0 into pi, which is nothing but pi. Is it clear? Therefore, option A is correct. It is again a very basic problem. 